Hello everyone, welcome back to After Space Grifflands. I think we just restarted the day. Um, I closed the game down and then I got really disoriented about where I am, so I'm having a look at this upgrade. And I'm thinking, um, we, sh we might want to discard our attachment to heads. Because we're allowing our head fixing to be destroyed. It's basically bait at the start of a negotiation. And we are using a lot of snails because we have a lot of domination cards in our deck and all of those get a benefit from snails. So I'm thinking maybe we use this bluff because we're more likely to be using snails than heads at this point of the game. Um, I've just started off over here. So I think we're back at the start of the day where we died at the end of the previous episode. Um, so uh, we'll just go. Start in this order instead. Oh, I didn't even look at it. Only some of the laborers are not the government. Work so dissent among the others, radicalizing the workers. One pamphlet has been encouraging the workers to strike if you can imagine. That must be in breach of contract. Oh, indeed. Distributing disruptive material is strictly against the rules, but the rules mean nothing to these savages. In case you've noticed, I've shaven this part of my face in between episodes because I spent my day doing useful stuff, including making this damn bread. Uh, I'd like you to find the pamphlet here. You'll get further than we can without spark barren colours. Okay. The fellow that wants to scare off a rise recruiter who's been sniffing around one of the work sites. So I think previously we were we were supposed to kill a dude, but we told him to leave town instead. Um, this one very similar. So there's only the negotiation thing. Um, I don't know how good Hit Flask is, except to thicken out our deck. Um, influence, I guess influence could be good because everything else. Um, nope. <clears throat> we have quite a few of, well, all of our, uh, <laughs> most of them do one type of damage. We have uh, enough of them that have a range of damage um, that it would be good to have influence because not all of them even use heads. And we're going to discard our heads idea. So um, I think it would be good to be able to get influence a little bit more easily, and the hit flask would only need three uses, but you know, still. Oh heck, what are we doing here? Talk to the workers to find out why I killed them. Okay. Don't suppose you've seen a riot pamphlet to Pay for the information. I need one more shill, I seem to recall, in order to buy something, buy a decent um, graft. So we should, as soon as possible, try and go and get that, because that would be good, basically. We have started off on uh, on snails here. Now, why? Is that on purpose? We are rigging two of those, but... I think we flipped it before the rig showed up. I think that's happening every time. Uh, let's not get any good yet. So. We will get rid of that. We will do this. Um, I think I would rather improvise something. I think two bonus actions next turn would be great. Let me draw a whole bunch of zero cards or unplayable cards, no doubt, but there you go. We only dealt one, which is fine. Uh, two composure. Any of these wanna be? <laughs> what are you being affected by? Suspicion. What's this then? Bonus of cards deal one less damage. Uh, I sure. I wanna prepare this now, please. <laughs> I think we set the coin to heads. Now these deal max damage, which means this goes away, and this will gain us some influence. We might have been able to do that in the right order, in the other order. We probably would have got one more damage out of it, but I think that's okay. Hello. Oh, okay, because we duplicated that. That's okay. Uh, well, we might as well apply all this composure, right? And I guess we do the damage. Oh, now we can because it's prepared. Oh, smart. I didn't even mean to do that, but let's pretend that I did. Today's the day for streaming my summer car. If you don't know it, we had eleven people on the blacklist on the on the list of names before, but now we only have 
nine, but we're getting them back, that's okay. <clears throat> we can set the coin, so we will do that. Get a bit of bonus damage on here. I'll do. We don't need the composure because we've got a copy of our info. Um, right, I think we've basically won it this time. Don't know what that would have been. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Why are you trying? Oh. Wait, what? Must have had a. Uh, Must have had a uh, resolve that I wasn't thinking about. We'll just do this. And then this. What? What is happening? You have no composure on this. What is happening? <laughs> right. Well, uh, give me... This. Repair it. We do some actual damage, please. There we go. What was happening there? Tell me about it. Uh, pick a negotiation card. Rig two. I'm gonna have to look at the video to find out what was happening there, because I was pretty sure that I was not doing my mathematics wrong. So there must have been some other damage mitigation that I was not considering. Prepare a card. Prepare this card. Uh, prepare a different card, essentially. I like being able to prepare cars, but they don't know. Don't worry about it. <laughs> when you have to think about it that much, it's probably best to take none of them. Uh, apply one composure to all your arguments every time you play a card and play a board. We've seen this one before and we liked that. And then uh, we can rig one or we can prepare it. That seems much better. So now we've got our prepare back that we just said no thank you to. Well, this is worth a demerit. After all, what was a rise ever done for you, really? Okay, you yeah. waste time. How's luck? Mark's on that. Yeah, you're already blacklisted with me, sun Sunshine, so we only get to do one thing. I was hoping to have to negotiate with everybody. So you're over here, are you? Make your way through the bog forest to the spot marked on your map. You're just about to give up when you spot a ramshackle tent. Checking my, uh, I'm actually recording. I'm also checking. I went silent to check that the, um, Fan is not audible. It might have been audible in the previous episodes. I apologise for that if it were. If it were. I think that's correct in English, but no one uses it like that anymore. Um, I've got rid of the fan that was behind me, and I put a fan down by my feet. It's a quieter fan, and it's further away and behind the microphone, so hopefully that's better. Uh, who's there? You lost Sir, this ain't the road. Afraid not the barons have sent me. I'm not in shift. Convince Kilkert to stay away from worksite A or beat up Kilkert. Well, there's no point making you dislike me. You just leave us out here. your losses and find a new stomping ground. I'm not doing anything wrong, I'm just talking to the workers there. Barons have an outlawed talking on shift, not yet anyway. Surely there must be something else you can do for your cause. Right, you're attacking me directly, which I'm not au fait with, so don't do that. Um, that costing two is a problem. Why are you always in my first hand? I think we have to ignore it. Unfortunately. Because everything else is better. <laughs> we are on snails today, actually. I assume that's new. Uh, now we can do this, so that's fine, actually. Yep, that works for me. I don't mind that. I like these engines that allow me to do more things. It seems it's missing in the cell runs because there's fewer cards that give us. Um, draw and fewer prepare actions and stuff like that. Although we have just done lots of prepared actions in the Sal playthrough now that we're playing Brawl on stream, so there's that. Uh, I will always do blacklist. What is this? I don't know why propaganda is a bad thing, apart from the fact that you just get more of them, I suppose. It does thicken up your deck, but one or two of them is surely not a bad idea. Um, what's your previous name, not a new name or something? Have I talked to you before? Do some of this. I think we set it to snails just to cause some damage. Why not? I'm wearing my glasses today because I, I tend to need them when I'm 
a bit more tired, which is today. And I can feel my eyelashes brushing the inside of the lens, and it's really annoying. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, okay. Like I said, that was exactly the right call to make at the start of the episode. Uh, draw two cards, please. I haven't gambled for ages. I feel like this is not doing me any good. Any of these good prepared? Not really. I think we just do this. My question is, do I want to... I want to apply the composure for sure. And then we probably just form this. Well, I've got more composure. Draw three cards. There's no point in those because they're not going to be free, so we might as well apply the composure and have done with it. This is a bit of a waste of a turn. Could have done a bit more damage, but that's okay. These numbers don't seem to be adding up to me. I knew you had eight damage before, and now what's happening? I think that's enough of these, by the way. Can you stop doing this making things more expensive nonsense? Right, let's get rid of this. It's annoying me. That was minus two. Okay. Prepare a card, swap its cost with this card. <laughs> the same. Why have you got two of those? Uh, try and kill that. Yeah, that worked. Now we can prepare this. Do damage with it for free. And that was enough. So there you go. We didn't spend any... <laughs> we didn't use any energy on that turn. I love it. Uh, anytime you gamble, that's not happening a lot. Spend all dominance. Gamble and deal two damage to a random enemy argument for every dominant. We don't have any dominance. Except for this, which we wouldn't be able to get. Discard this card. We don't have discard. We're not gambling enough. To the end of your turn, so you have to gamble several times on the same turn and then spend it. Uh, which doesn't seem to be very good to me. Gain one bonus damage. Set the coin and gain one bonus damage. So you can use it to do its own extra damage. Which is. I don't want to destroy it, I like it. Um. Brig one. Yeah! We might as well set a gamble engine going and hope to apply even more closure than before. I know you don't fear demer demerits, but the barons are highly motivated to get works like a back to its quota. For now, they've asked me to talk to you, but perhaps they'll resort to less savoury tactics. Not much righteous rabble rousing if you're uh, retired. Uh, that people. Good, let them crack. Others will work their way under their skin soon enough. Think long and hard about your motivation, you won't end up on the wrong side of history. Suspect she intends to disappear. I have shields now. Let's go and use them. Can't remember what I wanted, but I was one shield away from it. Uh, we should also have a look for our RPG. Is it this one? Use a card in your hand and move it to the prepared position. Prepare a card at the start of each turn. Bingo. We like that. Very much we like that. That gives us a lot of opportunities if we can find the prepare a card if this is prepared it costs nothing or the do extra damage if prepared and get energy back and we've got several cards that work really well in the prepared position so we should make very much good use of it where possible absolutely more uh, this means get paid also we haven't even been paid yet so that was good we want to see about getting some entertainment yes they're going to be might be a labourer who might sing or tell jokes. I mean, they're not on shift, of course. I was able to deal with the family. Excellent. How wonderful something could go so smoothly for you. I get paid shields. Best bonus, hit flask. Uh, skip bonus. Did I want to do that? I don't know. It's okay. Yes. I mean, it does go away eventually, but it's not my favourite. If you need a little help getting things done out there, you can talk to my quartermaster about hiring some auto mechs. That'll be you, then. By auto Apparently not. Oh, hello. Draw a card, gain 9 defense, destroy after 2 uses. Decent, decent. Make sticky. Do I have that? I don't. Where did I get that from in the previous go of this day? Steal all the target's power 
destroy after two uses, but it is sticky. I like a zero cost sticky card. I can't afford it, so. Let's go and talk to. Oh, I'll be in here, won't I? Okay, requisition and RPG. Thank you, we need that. Do some dirty work. What next? Right back at it. You are. Yeah, not quite. Barons are bringing a new dig site online in the deep. Well, we were negotiating the labor contracts with them. They rushed the project ahead before we were done and are opening without our approval. We need to send them the message about the importance of keeping the lines of dialogue open. An explosive message, if you catch my drift. Okay, escort an explosive expert to a dig site. Form some light industrial sabotage to delay its opening. It's light. Trying to turn any bystanders, we just want to delay the opening of sign up for and people underground. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Well, that was requisitioning things, I think. Don't mind that. Don't we bother going there? You meet her though. Another the day in the feud, hmm? Tell me about explosives. Uh, imagine it one for. Yeah, look, my partner's pregnant. Congratulations. Changes things, I can't go with you. But I can give you instructions if you so you can set it up yourself. It's not dangerous. It is. That's why I'm not going, but it's the only thing I can do. I'm going to be really upset if this person dies. What if something goes wrong? Ah, yes, very good. Perfect. Uh, I really think we should get rid of that. None of these is useful to prepare, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, we are not on that, so... <laughs> okay, none of this works together, but that's fine. It's only the first go. You know what? Let's just get rid of this. There you go. Now you're not coming back. We will take some... No, we won't. Yes, we will. We'll take one damage. Okay. You can even hear yourself talking. <clears throat> uh, I will prepare... Uh, this one. There we go. Max damage. And gain an action, so that's free. What is this? Gain one stack whenever a card is played. Ten stacks, rook is dealt, ten resolve. Oh wait. <laughs> Don't want that. Mm, leave me alone. That means we can do this. And that means we can do... I think we have to do this. It's almost... It's not worth not. If that doesn't come round again, we'll have missed the opportunity. Uh, we could set the coin, but I don't. Really want to. We'll take the we'll tank the damage because we're probably going to have a battle soon. In fact, I was saying in a previous episode you can wait until you've got low resolve, or yeah, resolve, and then do a battle and get some back. Doesn't work the other way around. Uh... There we go. Apply one composure to all your arguments every time you play a card. Do we want to set the coin? Maybe we should have uh, prepared this one. Because it's going to go away and then... Well, the next one wouldn't have been prepared then. So we'd have to prepare another card ourselves. Okay. Uh, so we set the coin. These all set their own coins. So we'll just keep doing this. It literally doesn't matter. Except for the fact that when we switch it to a snail, we get... It's the damage. There we go. Set the coin one more time. To snails. Now everything is well protected. Um, not that we really needed it that much, but there we go. Uh, and we're not going to prepare that, unfortunately, but that's okay. We managed to play all our cards, which is a rare turn, and having been able to do that, it's fine. Uh, come on, please. What is this? Three resolve and nine resolve? Don't mind if I do. Uh, prepare a card, this costs zero. Um, doesn't matter. Give me some... Give me some influence. Get rid of that then. <laughs> Apparently. There we go. Easy peasy. It hits all enemy arguments. Not bad. Deal four damage to all enemy arguments. Oh. We could rig that. If that came out um, prepared, if that was not prepared, but um, ambush, so it was the first thing on 
in our first hand, then we'd know that we'd be able to rig the, you know what I mean. I think we do take that, because if we can, basically if we rig that flip, we guarantee that to work. Uh, again, three influence or... Ooh. Again, we're letting our influence fall away and then rebuilding it, so it's much better to have a maximum card, a higher maximum than I do like this, but being able to no longer... Having to switch between our rigging, as it were. Yes. I think we take a draw to get through our deck faster. You're a demolition pro, right? Sure. When your kid is born, do you want them working those conditions? Yeah, Come with me and make sure this thing gets done right. We'll do it right. Don't you worry about anything. We will be fine. Uh, anything? We'll have a look to see if there's anything to buy on the way. Spark Baron Patrol is blocking your way for Is that Ippo? Oh no. The foreman's been looking for you, says they have some concerns about your requisitions. Why don't you come with us? How we could all get it all taken care of. Uh, how about no? We do have low resolve at the moment. Let's do a fight. Because... We have low resolve and we've got plenty of HP and we haven't done a fight in a while. Um, and no one's not taking very much damage and I'm going to get full armor anyway, so I don't worry about that much damage, although I am going to take a, uh, a status effect as well, but I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Where is the person who's on my side? Uh, I won't waste the users on that, if I'm honest. Just to keep playing this. We'll improvise. Seems better. I to burn. Spend my charge if I'm on wound. It won't last long enough. At the beginning of their turn. Doesn't that mean it'll go down straight away? So that's no use at all. Although it does do two damage. So this this stays until I attack it. So um, that seems best. What did you give me? Nothing. Ow. Um, a kick seems fine. We have an evasion. From that, fair enough. I would like to play all of this, but I can't. I want to hatch this, so I'm going to do that and sort of tank around and see what this is. Because we didn't manage to hatch it before and it's reset its progress. Um, we did evade one 7 damage hit, but we didn't manage to evade the second one. Can you stop doing so much blinking damage? Where's that coming from? These drones. You need 29 more damage, which is nearly as little as these. There's almost no point fighting those anymore. Now I want hammer the trigger. I mean, fan the, fan the hammer. You won't let me have it. All right, we'll tank this damage. <laughs> Ow. Hopefully that comes back sooner rather than later. Stop charging up so much. Yes. No. I think we have to do it this way. I haven't got enough that spends charge. We really need to find stuff that spends charge because that is how we get defense. And also, it will use the charge. We're now overcharged by a long way and we don't have anything to uh, spend the overcharge either. We've got this one again, which should be enough. Yeah. But that wasn't a great fight, and we don't have... We, we overcharged considerably, and we couldn't spend our overcharge or our actual charge, which meant we didn't get any defense. We had to choose to spend the defense or keep on the attack. So please let me have something that will spend charge. Empty. When I'm empty? If I have no charge, yeah. I think we need cauterize, basically. Spend up to two charge. Which is up to 6 charge. See, now this looks like it's strictly better than that. Because that does 6 bonus damage. And that does... For 1 charge. And that does 
6 bonus damage for 2 charge, but we want to spend the charge. So it's actually better for us to do that one. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with all this doubling my overcharge. Yeah, I was, uh, I was considering getting another draw out of it, but it doesn't seem that great. I knew this was a mistake. Yeah, but it's one you've already made. May as well see it through to the end. When you've made a mistake, when you're going through hell, keep going. Uh, we're going for provisions. Pearlies. Right, what have you got for me? My three wound. <clears throat> to impair on all enemies could be good. We don't have enough for any of these. I remember seeing that bunker before, which is great, so we want to see that again. But when we have some cash, please. Not when we are cash poor. There's a perimeter of barbed wire that you make quick work of. And then you went to the mining camp. You might not have noticed for mine, but for the ring of sharp rocks around it. Excuse me, a narrow crack into the earth, apart from the you know huge amount of industrial equipment. Gaze into its snaggletooth mole. We don't have to go inside, right? Yeah. I can drop a few charges down and seal off the entrance from here. But you see why Kalanda wants it closed for good, right? Sabotage. Let's just get this over with. Yeah. You said it. It works the perimeter a long way. It does the cable with small charge. It. it is set like it's armed or it's, it's going to explode like soon. I don't want to uh, leave immediately. If I pulls on the gap in the barbed wire if you dot your hand on it, stop choice which towards the gate of the perimeter. What is it? There's a crowd of folks at the gate. Baron. Scabs by the look of it. Laborers hoping to take the work if the riots don't show up to their ship. They're weak in the movement, but they're just trying to get by, same as the rest of us. Well, they're not going to get by for long if they stay there. Warn them if you want, but keep it vague. They're already selling us out in their own way. You make your way through the fence and wrap around to the queue forming at the gate. One of the scabs notices you, and the others follow his lead like a flock of fish. They looked haggard and sleep deprived, like they'd been camping out for a day or two, and somehow managed to avoid the beasts in the bog. Another one, huh? But get in the back of the line. We've all been here for days waiting for that damn mine to open. I'm not going to give up my spot some opportunity to stick a parasite like you. See, got a problem with that newcomer? Uh, much as you are being a dick. You can trust Rook. I have a friend. Please, thank you. <clears throat> Don't really need to prepare a card, but at least it's free. Um. Hey, check out their names. So we know if we're talking to someone new. What's your name? Yibit. Have you seen you before? No. Uh, none of this is really valuable. I was hoping to be able to get some influence to go along with all that, but we can't. Um, I think we do this. Set it to males. Which is worth it, apparently. Set it back to heads. That was the wrong one, but okay. And then just do some damage like this. So we're going to lose our influence, our, our, our help from the other people, but that's okay. This one's good to prepare. I don't think anything else is worth Well, yeah. Let's do it this way around. First we do this, which gives us an action. Hold on. Who are you? Are you? Let's get rid of you. Now we're doing an extra plus five damage on this and we're getting a card. Goes on that side, yep. <clears throat> we gamble, but we've still got our rig in place, which is perfect, so that doesn't matter too much, but there you go. <clears throat> and uh... that one. Why did this... Why did that not take... I'm so confused by where the damage is going. Uh, we'll turn this to snails. Because we can rig the gamble, right? Oh. There was actually composure on that one this time, so that's okay. At least I got it wrong correctly. Uh... None of this needs preparing, so... Let's get rid of this, just in case the end of the fight counts as the end of the turn. Uh, negotiation. Got 
everything we want from this, I think. Yeah. You don't think it's odd they haven't gone ahead and opened the gates yet? You've been here for days, you said, yeah? Because the rise are stolen and we're in negotiations. But the barons have been busy too. Think about it, it's a trap. The barons have rigged the place to cave in. They want to deal with the rise once and for all. Well, you're joking. I wish I were a friend, but trust me, you don't want to be here when this shift starts. We've been going on for ages, by the way, just yabbering on about stuff. We turn the light on. Oh, bloom. Uh, the barons won't care if a couple of transients get caught in the blast. Oh, listen, I haven't eaten in three days. This is dead end. I'm going to look for work elsewhere. The rest of the scabs waste no time following their leader. So in all that time, the explosion did an explosion. Boom, the barons aren't going to be using that dig site anytime soon. We did it and nobody got hurt. Thanks, Rook. Bring you around. Nice. Saved workers from an explosion. Ah, so we rescued them. We don't care about them, obviously. But um, start of each battle gained four defense and two temporary power, which is awesome. This is like grafts, but we don't have to spend a graft thingy to do it. That was way good. It was much better than previously. Um, there was there were 150, so we still haven't actually uh, earned it yet. And when we hand in this quest, we won't be on the clock anymore, so we won't be able to requisition the thing. Now they'll know we mean business. Graft reward. Into charge. <laughs> Redirects enemy intents. Force all enemy intents and arguments to target a specific argument this turn. So, could have got 30 shields out of that, but I'm okay with it. Right, yeah, we can't buy that anymore. Ibo wants to join you. Or. <laughs> I mean. In the previous episode, when we lost this day, we had the opportunity to see this, but the alternative was to um, rescue somebody. Now the alternative is not to rescue somebody. So, I don't know if we need Evo to join me. Ah. Uh, screw it. <laughs> we'll see what this, this gamma is and find out how awful it is and how much we should have just brought Evo along with us. You see a Kradeshi trying to get the attention of the crowd. That's sure, look. Disinterested worker stream past him. What are you selling here, friend? Oh, stop me, Griffin. No one ever stops to talk to me here in the boat. But to business, yes. I'm offering a moment's respite from... Respite? 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 From the drudgery of daily life. There's a hungry glint in Krog's eyes that you recognize from many a mirror. Best of luck with my game of chance. You might just win. Kid's fingers twitch nervously, anticipating the grift. Ask about the game. What is it? St blah, 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 blah. You're going to toss that coin up in the air and let me guess how it lands. Oh, you played before, excellent. Go. Tell me what you got. All right, keep your eye on the coin. Here we go. Call it. Your practice eye tells you that the coin is weighted to come up heads. Heads. Uh, yes, you win. You want a hot seat? You should go double or nothing. Show Krog how it's done. Good but not great. Heads. Males. Heads. Keep it up all day if you use your wrist properly. Listen, man, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make another one to get up to Bird of Bay. Offer to trade spare coin for Krog's weighted coin. Hello! <laughs> Comes up heads 90% of the time. That would be great if it was the other way around. Krog will love you. Krog will like you. Krog will hate you. Don't forget we can rig this, and we're already rigging it most of the time to be tails anyway. Uh, heads anyway. So having one that comes up heads all the damn time. Although he will. Eh. Really interesting the fact that this is a changeable mechanic. I just assumed it was fixed in place. Um, I'm going to give him some money and see what we get out of it. Here, a donation. Why? Don't make me think too hard about it. I might change my mind. Uh, 20 shield discount from shopkeepers. Pretty good. That means the other one will cost us 130. So we could buy it if we were able to buy it. Um, now we have to deal with this thing. This is going to be the difficult part. If we lose this time, we're going to have to start the whole thing again. Luckily, it's only day two. Now, it's 34 minutes. So actually what I'm going to do is call it here and say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode uh, and have been enjoying watching me once again try and puzzle out the most simplest of questions like do you want this or that? Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you.